Hey everybody, just wanted to come and give you a good explanation of orthographic and isometric projection. Um, these are two very standard projections that happen all over the place, um, all over the world. If something's an orthographic projection, it doesn't matter what language it's in, people understand what it is. So it's kind of what's called a drafting standard. So we're going to start out here. Uh, we're in SketchUp for Schools. We got parallel projection. And we got this here as perspective drawing. So you can see none of these angles are quite right because we have vanishing points. Here kind of straightens everything up. So this here is isometric projection. So if I have a cube, I'm looking at isometric projection. I have the top, the front, and the right side. Right here is the center point. If I look, these are all 120 degrees. Even though in real life, this would be a 90 degree angle, this would be a 90 degree angle, and this would be a 90 degree angle. But they're 120 degrees, so you can see all three sides at once. It's a 3D view. To get from this isometric to orthographic, we're going to take that box and start unfolding it, keeping the front in the same spot, unfold it all out and look at it perfectly straight on. Now I have my front, my right side, my top, my left side, my back, and my bottom. And that is the orthographic view. How we get orthographic is this is straight on looking at it. Ortho means straight. Just like the orthodontist straightens your teeth. Orthopedics put your arm in cast when it's broken, unfortunately, but they straighten your bone. So ortho means straight. Think about it that way. This kind of looks like some braces here from the orthodontist. So ortho is straight on. Isometric is 3D. All right, let's take an object that's in 3D. Here's a simple object. We had the cube, but we cut it out. Now, to get this right now, it's an isometric projection. 120 degrees, 120 degrees, 120 degrees. Makes perfect sense. Our next step to this, we want to get this to orthographic. So we're going to encase it in a glass box. Because if we go right here and we start unfolding it, you get all kinds of funky shapes. This looks like a net that you learned about in math class. But this is how we get to this point. So we encase our piece in a glass box. Then we take all these corners and we project them, orthographic projection, to the back wall. Then we draw the shape that we see on the back wall. And now we have that back view. Same thing here, project the corners and draw the shape on the right side. the right side view. Do the projection of all the corners up to the top, even these corners inside here. Now we have a top view done. Do the right side, sorry the last one is the left side. We have the left side done. To project to the bottom. Bottom's all complete. Project to the front. And the front's complete. So now we have all the sides projected onto this glass box. Now, just like before, start unfolding it. Unfold it all the way, flatten it out, and now we have all of the sides in their proper spot. You can see this little notch cut out right here. It's right here. If I take a look this way, my height goes all the way across. My width goes all the way up. My depth, so this depth here goes to the top, comes back to the back side. That all stays exactly the same. You can see how these lines project across and make different shapes. This gives you an idea of how this item 
is. And that completes our object from isometric to orthographic. So again, we're isometric, it's 3D, everything 120 degrees. Orthographic, lay it all out flat, look at it. In SketchUp, we have isometric view. And then we have all the orthographics separate from the isometrics. Hopefully that gives you a good understanding of what isometric is and orthographic. Good luck.